I'm just kind of hiding. I would do a bit more of an organized demo for you um, tonight and just see how that goes. If you've been to the Pickle Paintbrush, we use this background for a few different paintings and I absolutely love it. It is just gorgeous. And so um, this is the paint that I've got. I've got some white, I've got some cool blue and some deep sea. Um, that's cool red as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but um, it's on there just for the hell of it. Okay, now let me put this into the frame. This is the kind of background that I'm working on. This is our lovebirds painting. So you see it sort of glows like a like a moonlit bright glow coming from the background and it's just so much fun to do and so cool. So I thought I'd do it and we do it in so many different colors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the larger paintbrush. Now this would be a flat brush, I am thinking, and it's a nice big one so we can get a lot of coverage happening. And I'm gonna wet it first and just get a big blob of white paint. I kind of start making a bit of a circle in the middle there. Actually, Tanya and Ivy, we did this background when you guys came and did the Christmas painting, the Christmas reindeer. This is really freaky because what I'm painting and what I'm looking at on the screen are a little bit different, but that's all right. It's just the lag. Okay, so now. now Funny story, right? So I had this idea a couple of days ago that I would do this um, little demo for you. And actually now I've got enough white on there, so I'm gonna jump into the blue color. I'm not even gonna clean the brush. I'm just dabbing into some blue and I'm gonna go around the outside like that. Now, if it's not quite in the center, which I can see mine mine isn't, it's it's no, no drama. We can always correct it when we go back with more paint and I just like to do it in big circles nice big circles so yeah a couple of days ago I had the idea that I would do um, a bit of a painting demo of this background because I love it so much and it's a lot of fun and I thought yep yeah, I'll make an announcement so I'm going to do the live and then you know that was my plan and then as the day I knew I was going to do it tonight and then as the day has kind of been unfolding I'm like oh I don't know if I want to I haven't told people I'm going to, so maybe I won't. You know, just those little conversations that you have with yourself sometimes. And the funny thing is that I have been listening to, um, if any of you are familiar with Esther Hicks, Abraham Hicks, um, it's a little bit out there. It's a little bit kind of spiritual um, on a different level, but she talks a lot about manifesting and um, drawing those things into your life that you want. So now, now I'm going to go into the green, into the deep sea green and just go around the outside like this. And I'm, I want to um, fill in the whole canvas eventually. So I'm going to take that all the way out. Anyway, so Esther talks all about manifesting. It's all about manifesting into your life and, and, and managing your own vibration like whatever you're putting out vibrationally into the world is what you're attracting to yourself so I've been getting into this a little bit more lately just trying to think about certain things that I would love to manifest and um, sometimes I get a bit overwhelmed with things and you know the massive list of things that there is to do so today I just I sat on the bed or lay on the bed and listened to Esther talking and she was talking about the vortex and then I thought, oh wow, I wonder what a vortex looks like. I wonder, you know, maybe I could do a painting of that. So I just Googled it. What does a vortex look like? Guess what, people? It kind of looks like this background. And I thought, well, there you go. There you go. I better go and do this live because I had the idea already and it's a kind of a cool thing. <laughs> so here I am doing the live for you. So how cool is that? Um, I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, this is going to keep going out to the edges. I'm doing this kind of a little bit rough because I don't want to. I don't want to be here for a long time, and I want to show you the really groovy um, blending part. So, and you can spend you can spend hours doing this. We usually spend about an hour doing it in the in the when we do a class. Um, a vortex is a bit like a like a tornado type situation. All right, I've just cleaned my brush off and got all that stuff off. I didn't clean it up until now. I didn't worry about mixing the paint because it's all going to get blended and mixed 
on the canvas anyway. So now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more white. This I love this part. This is so much fun. So now I'm going to start to blend the white and the blue together. So look at that. And I'm just going to spin it in. See, this is our vortex happening right here. <laughs> and spiral it out. And back in again. So I've kind of got rid of most of the white. I still want it to be light. But there you go. And I'm just going to take a little bit more white and I'm going to take it around into the blue. And I just love this. It's like, it's this is this is mesmerizing. You know when they, you, you imagine those hypnotists and they say, look into this spinning, well, it's like a vortex thing, isn't it? Or you, you get a spinning top that's got like a big spiral drawn on it and you stare at it and it kind of makes your eyes go a little bit funny. It's mesmerizing. Oh, your favorite part too, Ivy, that's cool. Yeah, it's good fun. So you see, we've lost that line. When we started, there was like a definite line between the white and the blue. And now that's kind of blended a bit. Oops, just had a bit of a drip there. Oh, and I've got some green on, that's all right. I forgot to get myself a cloth. That's what the tablecloth's for. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna go back in the middle and tidy that up a little bit. So it's a little bit more blended. There's a little bit of green, the deep sea green in there now, but I don't mind that. Look at that. Look into my spiral vortex. <laughs> Hi Louise, how are you going? Well, she says I make it look easy. Well, I have done it quite a few times. So I'm sure you would have done this one, Louise. You've been a few times yourself, I know. So it's kind of mesmerizing. All right, so I've got that. I've got that part done. I'll probably come back and neaten that up a little bit. Oh. But now I'm going to go in with some of the blue and just kind of go over where the blue and the green meet. Because I kind of want the outside to be a lot darker so that it just adds to the glow. Makes that white pop a little bit more. So when you're doing this outside, um, what's the word I'm looking for? where the blue and the green meet, you can add blue to it and you can also add a bit of green to it. And I might even go, I'm going to add some more blue all the way out because I want it to go darker. You got a, oh Louise has got a pink one, yeah that's cool. We have a few, we do this for the lovebirds painting and also the dragonfly and I've got a purple pumpkins one that we do at Halloween that's got a purple one purple background we did a Christmas reindeer one that's also got a purple background but you can do people have done all different kinds of colors with this um, one time someone did it, it was it was brown and I wasn't quite sure how that was gonna go but it actually looked stunning because then she added at the end we got out the metallics and she added some gold and the gold and the brown just were just oh, gorgeous really gorgeous I copied it I did one myself <laughs> So yeah, so this is kind of getting there and it's um, it's funny I was looking at it from different angles because I'm looking at it from sitting here now and I feel like it's a little bit off to this side a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then when I look in the camera, I can see there's wonky bits. So it's always good to get up and have a look at your painting from a bit of a distance or from a different angle. I'm not gonna do that now because this is what you're looking at. Um, so yeah, so now I also wanted to say, if you guys don't know yet, I don't know how you've missed it, but I have started up a private group for anyone that's already been to the Pickle Paintbrush and done a class with us. I'm really, really excited about it. It's called the Purple Circle Tribe and I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to do another live in that group probably on, maybe on Friday night this week don't hold me to that I'm going to do a live this week in the um, purple circle tribe where I might take this actually I'll have a bit of a go at it now make it a bit more vortexy 
um, and make it like a bit more spacey. So if you've been to the Pickle Paintbrush for a class and you haven't joined the Purple Circle Tribe yet, people are joining it. I, I only started it on uh, a week ago, I think, and so people are getting into the group and there's going to be... Um, different demos that you won't get in this group there's going to be discounts too if you get into the group before the 16th of march um you get a 20 percent discount to your next class as long as it's before the end of the financial year so that's pretty cool and i'm going to be doing some other kind of specialty things for the people in there too so make sure you get over and join that group because that's my that's my group for my special peeps because you're all special to me right so now what i noticed when i googled pictures of this was they were kind of doing this so it looks a bit more like it's spiraling in. So I don't know how this is going to turn out, but you know, we have we have a crack, we give it a go. Now because the background paint is still quite wet, it's not really it's just turning the white to that color so wow look at that that looks pretty cool it's almost like um it's like kind of like a wave as well it's like a space wave <laughs> interesting maybe i need to wait for it to dry a little bit more sometimes i'm a bit impatient and i don't want to wait for it to dry but actually it's kind of cool, I'm kind of liking it. Maybe if I go in with some blue. Kind of vortexy. We might do a vortex class. If anyone, if anyone listens to um, Esther and Abraham Hicks, I'm sure they'll want to come to that class because it's pretty cool. Getting into the vortex. Oh, let me see if I can go. I want it to spiral even more into the middle. The best part about acrylic paints is that you can just keep on painting. <laughs> just keep on painting. And yeah, very cool. I'm going to do my favorite splatty thing now. Oh, this is exciting. Right, ready? Now we're going to make it really spacey. This is where I get paint everywhere. Woo. Check it out. I'm very excited. I did <laughs> I did have that um, cool red on my palette, but I'm not going to do it because I'm loving this just how it is. Loving it, loving it. It's looking pretty cool. Just lies where we're chatting. Oh, look at that. Just where we can chat, you can ask questions or whatever. I can, you know, I can still do painting while I'm doing that as well. But just for a bit of variety, this is kind of cool. Tell me if you like the vortex. If you want to come to a class and do the vortex, because the beautiful thing is that. So, <laughs> this is what the vortex painting is all about. Anyway, that's um, a little bit different to the original. Look at that. That was the original that we... Same, same, same background concept. So, I'm going to wait till that's dry and maybe play a little bit more around with uh, the centre of it. But, hey, I'm loving that. It's very galactic and very um, spacey. And right, I'm going to... Um, if you're watching the replay then thanks for watching the replay and just leave me a comment um, if you like the vortex painting or even if you thought you had no idea what I was talking about that's totally cool with me um, if you want any any ideas that you want me to do for future painting demos um, maybe you've come along and you've seen a particular painting that you want to do but you haven't got down to do it yet then let me know in the comment thank you guys for being here I'm going to jump off now and put my vortex painting up on the wall well, I'll finish it off and I will see you soon whatever you're doing make sure you have fun doing it make sure you feel good reach for the thought that makes you feel the best all the time see you later guys